Part of a bigger project called Stillwater. Late at night, sitting up in my room, sipping on adrenaline, pacing over you. Lately, you ain't what I say, but you can't hate me to my face. I'm for real. Uh, you call it like I see. Obsessive. Yeah, the new record kind of kicked my ass as far as like uh, chord changes and stuff like that, as far as just learning chords in general, because I'm not a huge theory guy, this guy and Ty are. And they definitely like broaden my horizons when it came to the whole theory side of what we're trying to do. Uh, I'm still trying to learn stuff. It's kicking my ass, but having to work with all those chord structures and like it's still kicking my ass every day. And the songs are so hard to play live, but I'm grateful for it because I feel like it's really helped me become a better player. If the price is right, then my as members of our own band and we've been able to really show that on stage and, and I think we're starting to figure out how to get back to the top or get back to the, the height that we were at when, when we were first coming up and I think that it's good because we really want to do that with this new album Headspace. As well. And it's really cool to see these new songs kind of get accepted so well. Um, we're playing home soon on this tour for the first time, always like high energy the entire time and then here kind of throwing in a sort of ballad. And that's yeah. always kind of like nerve-wracking for a band. You know, it's kind of like a do or die thing. And it's been cool to see the response that people are so clear new songs. And people love it. And to take a risk like that, which I mean, for a band like us, is a huge risk. And for it to go over so well, is amazing. I've been changing. Can't believe how long you got me to wait. After every single dream has faded, I can bring them back. to me. 